from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, this is the time of year where it's the longest days of the year, at least daylight hours. We max out at 14 hours and six minutes in a couple of days. 14.05 tomorrow. Look out for that sun. The UV index pegged at 11. That's as high as it gets. So uh, not only do we have the high heat, but uh, the UV rays as well. So again, if you're going to be working or playing outdoors in the days ahead, take plenty of breaks, get in the shade, use sunblock, because no matter what your skin type is, you can get a pretty bad sunburn, especially in this high heat, and we won't even get into the heat stroke and uh, everything else that you can get in this high heat. So let's take a look at the weather pattern that's dominating our situation. Yesterday, this high pressure system was close to Mexico City. Well, now it's getting closer to South Texas and expanding northeastward. So it's doing two things. This ridge, this upper ridge is kind of just kind of compressing the air over us so that allows for hotter temperatures and it's pushing the storm track north of the region so we're not going to see much in the way of shower or thunderstorm activity at least over the next 10 days in fact I don't see soaking rains for quite a while maybe for the rest of the month of June the way it is showing up right now now as we take a look we do have some big thunderstorm cl clusters up by the Arklatex strong to severe storms over by the Florida Panhandle but this is as close as the activity is going to get to us. And as we scan the regional Doppler radars, we do have some pretty intense activity right along south of I-20 from Tyler, Texas. So they had egg-sized hail earlier today, and these storms, uh, they're on the lookout for more big hail and damaging winds. You can see up toward Texarkana northeastward and a couple of strong cells in Louisiana near the Monroe area. And then farther south and east, Acadiana East in the summertime, you have some showers and storms moving through the Destin area. It looks like the worst of it missing the beaches, but uh, we do have severe thunderstorms warnings uh, north of Destin and north of Panama City in the interior portions of the Florida Panhandle. Not to be outdone, but uh, we do have a shower here by the Chandelier Islands. That's about it going on across Louisiana, our part of Louisiana and Acadiana. But powered up or three, powerful enough to pick up a little bit of a cloud. Uh, we could call this a cloud street, but there's probably some sprinkles in this activity. And basically, we're seeing some moisture that comes in from the Atchafalaya Swamp. You have heating over this brown area. Area. That's the land area, so you get a little rising motion. So this is kind of like uh, we call it a sea breeze, but in our case, it's a swamp breeze uh, that's producing a couple of sprinkles across St. Landry Parish, extending down to maybe through the Cankton area, it's perhaps as far west as Dusan, but uh, and not a significant shower, just sprinkles and nothing that's going to cover the ground. So it's going to be a quiet night tonight. Temperatures start out near 80, and this is going to be the MO over the next couple of days, mid 90s tomorrow afternoon. But what we will have is a nice Nice breeze out of the southwest, 10 to 15, a few gusts to 20. We've had a few gusts to 20 this afternoon, so that kind of takes the edge off the heat and keeps us from getting too hotter than the mid 90s. And we think we're going to see more of the same as we head into Thursday, a morning start around 80, and then an afternoon high pushing into the mid 90s once again. So here are your temperatures tonight, upper 70s to lower 80s. Notice the heat index at 7 o'clock in the morning is going to be right around 90 degrees. Then we head into the afternoon hours. We get into into the mid 90s that feels like temperature getting up to about 107 at least in Lafayette could be hotter in spots upper 70s to near 80 with a heat index Thursday morning near 92 and then Thursday afternoon you'll see temperatures well into the mid 90s these are not highs these are just snapshots at three o'clock in the afternoon so we'll be a few degrees hotter and in fact look at the heat index values for tomorrow 101 102 to 107 quite common a little bit better near the coast because you get the cool sea breeze, but as you get farther inland, it's a different story. And then as we head into Thursday, a couple of notches higher and notice the heat indices expanding across all of South Louisiana. So we'll see that heat index values getting up closer to 105 to 109, 110 in a few isolated spots. Now, prime time for the heat is uh, actually expanding as well. If you notice yesterday, we didn't have heat indices above 100 until about 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, 10 o'clock in the morning for tomorrow, maxing out between one and two in the afternoon, staying quite high. Sea breeze helps a little bit in the afternoon, but we don't get below 95 on your heat index until after nine o'clock at night. And that's going to be the story and only gets a little bit hotter as we get into the weekend. So overnight tonight, warm and humid uh, for sure, but at least a little bit of a tropical breeze. We see all the clouds on the horizon off to the north of us. And then for tomorrow, back up to about 95 for a high. 
southwesterly winds at about 10 to 15. If that tropical breeze kicks in a little bit more, maybe 93 or 94, take it and run because tomorrow will be the coolest day of the year. Notice you see all the big thunderstorms well to the north of us. We're going to see generally fair to partly cloudy skies. Moving into that 10 day forecast, we see highs in the mid upper 90s through the weekend. Heat index values 107 to 114, so more than likely we're going to get heat advisors coming in from the National Weather Service before the end of time, before the end of the week. And then we get into Thursday or Friday. Um, we do think toward the end of next week we could see uh, slightly better rain chances, but notice you see all the best rain chances staying mostly north of our region. So prospects of a good soaking or something to cool us off, not there in the forecast for right now. So a hot one indeed. That's it for weather for now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.